Statics, chapter 3, homework problem number 1, 310 in newtons of force applied to this uh, figure below. And it's asking us to determine the moment of the force about D. About D. So what we can say is immediately we have 310 newton force. So we can say that... Uh, F equals 310, theta equals 25, and we need to find an R. R is going to have to be the distance between A D. R is going to be just the distance between A and D. Um, I believe so. So now what we need to do is we need to break F into its component for, uh, component forces, I guess. So this would be X ax and ay which these are going to be 310 cosine of 25 and this is going to be 310 sine of 25 and this is and that is 310 cosine 25 is 280.5 Nine six, and then this one is going to be 131.01. Okay, good. Now that we have force X and force Y, we can now break AD into its two forces. Now AD has an X and a Y. AD is going to have 0 0.2 Y and 0 0.1 x it's going to be the change in x and the change in y and now we're trying to find the moment of the force about d so what we need to do is we need to do fx times change in y and this is going to have to be minus fy change in x which this turns out to be 280.96 times 0 0.1 minus 131.01 times 0 0.2. So quickly times 0 0.1. This is going to be 28.09 minus 131.01 times 0 0.2, 26.202. We subtract the two, I'm getting 1.89. And let's, uh, let's see if that's right. Nope. But that's how you get the moment about D. 310 cosine 25. 310 sine 25. 310 times. Change in Y. Ah, I did change in X, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we just flip these two. That's point two. That's point one. All right, easy fix. Watch how easy this fix is. Zero point two. Zero point one. And now this whole thing becomes. 56.19 minus 13.1, which is 43.09. And that's correct.